what up though i am kai shanice and thank you so much for coming to my channel if you like this look and if you want to just talk to me and chat and hear me rant and catch y'all up on my life then keep on watching okay let's get into this video okay so first of all like i mentioned in the intro this ain't really 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 about the makeup look this is because i want to really talk to y'all okay it's been so much stuff happening with me not really so much but y'all know how i get in my own head i'm trying to be perfect and stuff and i want the content to just give i just overthink i overthink but it's just let's, let's just get into the video like i'm saying i feel like i'm talking so much so anyways i'm not about to really break down the products that i'm using but you can you know if you catch it you catch it if you don't you don't this is really more or less like it's a conversation okay but anyways um yeah so like i was saying you know well like i was starting to say it's been stuff going on y'all like nothing like super heavy or nothing like that but another thing too before somebody comment you don't um like your eyes you still have an eyeliner on your eyes first of all that um magnetic liner is a killer um it just doesn't go away and i just got off of work so it's not like i went to sleep on this like I, I did this this morning so i took off as much as i can anyways back to what i was saying um stuff that's been going on with me so um i started a new job y'all so oh wait let me just take it back because first of all i know i have some new subscribers on here hey girl or bro whatever um i want you to say what's up y'all welcome to the family um I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me. Um, I'm just gonna weave some new stuff in as well as, you know, let the people who are new here get to know me a little bit more. First of all, we got a new camera. We got a new camera. If my vlog don't come out before this video, which I highly doubt it will because I haven't really been vlogging. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all, my baby sister, <laughs> she got me a new camera, y'all. I got the Sony ZV-1, I think it is. I don't know, it's not. I think that's what they say. Whatever, I don't know. But it's a really nice camera, y'all. And y'all know we was vlog. Oh my contact. Y'all know we was vlogging on our phone. Okay. I got an iPhone 13, which is great quality. Don't get me wrong. Like it's 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 super popping and everything. But it's only so much that you can do really with an iPhone. You know, like whatever. But I'm very very thankful. Very very much appreciative. So her buying me this was like. Kind of like the fire and the motivation I needed to like get my stuff in order. Let me keep, I can't talk in whatever at the same time. Um, I don't know where my spoolie at, but I'm just going to do this real quick like. But um, yeah, so she got me this uh, camera or whatever. And I'm just like, dang, like I really got to get on my stuff, y'all. So that is why I am back. and I'm trying to be in full effect, you know, like hopefully. Um, I'm sorry I'm not looking at y'all, but y'all know how it is with eyebrows. But back to what is, has been going on with me, y'all. So like I said, I started a new job. Um, take you back a little bit. My eyebrows are gonna look crazy. They are gonna come together in the end. In the beginning of the pandemic or whatever, you know, everybody's at home doing their own thing or whatever. Some people off of work, some people laid off. Some people hours were reduced or whatever, which were mine. It's my situation. And so I was just like, you know, it really made me feel like, dang, man, like these jobs are really, um uncertain you know you can't really be too sure about anything so it just prompted me to start up my youtube channel i told y'all before i had my youtube back in 2014 but then i did i deleted it like y'all it was y'all think my old videos on here are cringe the videos i had in 2014 was disgraceful okay it was like mm. I don't know what I was thinking like I I don't know but I should have been um I should have been more consistent if I would have just kept the page and just you know let my myself work out the kinks and stuff or whatever who knows although I was uh working like two to three days or whatever I still was getting a full check so like I work in a hospital I, I'm considered an essential worker even though I'm not like a nurse or anything like that so i really didn't lose out on anything financially or whatever but at the same time it made me feel like dang like people around me was losing their jobs and stuff and like getting laid off and blah 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 blah, blah whatever and it kind of make you feel like oh my god like i should be doing something like, i need to be proactive i need to 
um, you know, kind of like solidify my financial stability, I guess, if that makes any sense. So I was like, okay, the girls on YouTube, like the girls on YouTube, they are not losing sleep. They are not lacking, basically. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's affected. And while everybody at home, what are we doing? We on YouTube, we on TikTok, we on Instagram. I'm like, this is the time to really get active, whatever. So that's when I started my YouTube page back, whatever. So fast forward, my brain is all over the place, y'all. Like, I'm trying to start a YouTube. I'm trying to start a business. So I took this girl's course. Um, she has a Facebook ads course or whatever. Her name is Danielle. Um, her ads course is the bomb. Like, if you want to be... Um, a business owner like um you know have like a shop online or whatever anything like that then like i would highly recommend her course but me my brain i think i got what is it add adhd whatever one that you can't really focus like even in this video how many things have i talked about already you know what i'm saying so anyways whatever one you can't focus i think that's what i got so um <laughs> me trying to do like a million things at one time during the pandemic which was great because i was you know i was motivated and i was driven to like do something with myself but i was trying to do too much so girl i started a business a lash company which i've spoken about on here but then that that is a whole other story time like so I was revamping my company or whatever, just a little sidebar. I was revamping my company. I was going to like do my web page over. I was going to do all this other stuff. And then I just got discouraged. Like people will literally suck you dry of your motivation, of your enthusiasm. They'll discourage you, just different stuff, whatever. But we're not going to talk about that. So um, fast forward to now, I feel like I really shouldn't have let people like, you know, get to me and discourage me or whatever. So all the while while I was trying to pursue my business and do YouTube at the same time, one was lacking, obviously. So my YouTube was lacking. So I was I'm just gonna cool it on YouTube for a minute or whatever. So I have stopped posting, I stopped content creating, even though I really enjoy, like I really love making videos, I really love talking to a camera, whatever. And I like shopping. So it just kind of worked out. I love thrifting, like I love creating, I love DIYing, whatever. So I don't have like a niche. I think you'll find that out about me like in my videos. I really don't do one thing. A lot of creators, sorry, the AC just came on, the door closed. A lot of creators, they do one thing or whatever, or they do like a couple different things. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm all over the place. And that was another thing that kind of like made me want to just like take a step back and really figure out what it is that I really want to do. So I just started to just come back now because, or I'm starting to come back now because I just figure, um, what is, what is, what is a niche? Like who's, who, in, who invented that? Like who started this? You have to do a pocket of things or, you know, even though I understand like some people go to certain channels for certain things, that's cool. But I feel like people will buy into a personality. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, and then if I just so happen to do something that you're interested in, that's great. Um, but you know, I don't know, hopefully it works out for me because where I'm at right now and why I really wanted to talk, make, um, talk to y'all make this video is because y'all, I just got hired at this job, another hospital. And I hate it. Like I literally hate it. Like, you know, and sometimes like you don't want to speak negatively about like your current situation. So when people ask you, Oh, you know, how's things that... Hold on, hold on one second. So, yeah, so when people would ask me, you know, how's work going, how's life, blah, 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 blah. And you don't always want to be negative, And also, you don't want people in your business either. So, like, you know, you'll tend to be like, oh, everything's great, or whatever. Y'all, I hate this job so much that people that I really wouldn't necessarily tell not my business too because not liking your job is not business but you know what i'm saying i would be like girl like i hate it like i hate this job now don't get me wrong i'm sorry i don't want to be unthankful and ungrateful and stuff because i know a lot of people out here they're not working and all of that stuff sorry to them people i hate this job i am so sorry i'm thankful to have an income 
Girl, I hate it. Like, you can, you, ooh, ooh, child. So that is another reason why I'm back because, baby, I'm just going to keep it a thousand with you. This content creator needs to pop off in a major way, okay? I love to create. I love to do this. I love to talk so much so that I'm barely even doing my makeup right now. But I say all that to say that, baby, y'all about to get these videos off. And I know I always say that, and I always say I always say that. But for real, like, I just chalked it up to nothing is going to make me happy in this world. So the only thing that will come close to really, really satisfying me is to be a content creator. And I need this to be lucrative. So here I am, okay? Here I am. So y'all, y'all rock with me, okay? Um, sticking there with me, support me. Um, I just can't see myself working for a company for the rest of my life. And I'm, it's no shade to people who do because by all means, you know, work your job, girl. I feel like um, the more I work for people, the more I'm just like, wow, I'm really wasting my life away like i'm really wasting my time so i really wish that i was smart enough to keep my youtube in 2014 yeah that's just i'm sorry to put all this on y'all like if you do hear i'm sorry you probably like she is so crazy she's so dysfunctional she's all over the place you're right i am but i mean this is who I am, okay? Um, yeah, so I just be... Um, he just shaking the camera, walking past. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Please let me know, like, if you are an up, up, in, up and coming um, content creator, YouTuber, influencer, whatever, um, let me know your thoughts on, you know, how do you stay motivated? How do you schedule out your content? Um, also, what else is new with me? Um, oh, my anniversary is coming up. We are coming up on three years of marriage, which is so awesome. Um, I don't even feel like it's been three years. Like, like literally, I feel like we just got married. Except for when I look in the mirror and I'm like, dang, you really gained 20 pounds. Like, dang, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> which people, this is, okay, okay, we just, we just gonna go with it. Um, <laughs> so anyways, people be like, oh my goodness, like, everything is not about weight, it's happy weight, blah, 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 blah. Do I gotta get unhappy to, like, lose this weight, to drop these pounds? Because this happy weight business is not a good enough excuse, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of it. I am tired. It's hot outside. Like Charleston, Charleston is hot 24-7. 24-7 it is hot in Charleston pretty much. And I just can't carry all of this weight around. It's like literally hot from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Not that I'm just like sitting outside like chilling or whatever, but just walking to your car is a whole task in itself. And ain't nobody got time for that. You know, I live on the third floor. It's a lot. You feel what I'm saying? It's a whole lot, but... I go in and out of like being motivated to work out like um i'll get this you know sudden sudden sit uh bleh. why i work so hard i get this sudden sense of urgency like to be like super healthy and stuff and then i'll be like man i want to just live my life and be happy <laughs> and being happy for me equates to eating what i want when i want you know that's so unhealthy but whatever i eat when i'm happy i eat when i'm sad i eat when i'm content i eat when i'm bored like it just don't matter you know people who say i'm just you know i get stressed out and depressed or whatever and i don't eat what i don't get that but i mean i you know everybody different you know whatever but see me <laughs> i don't turn up i really should have tweezed this eyebrow a little bit more yeah, so like I would um I would get like two or three subscribers like a week. And I'm like, how is this happening? Like I don't I don't get it. I don't understand this, but I just thought it was because 
um, maybe my TikTok is associated with my YouTube. I don't know. Like it's in my it's in my bio or whatever. But I said, dog, I gotta I gotta create some content. I gotta be more consistent because people are really paying attention to my channel, and I ain't even doing nothing. Um, which I I totally appreciate. Like, let's not get it twisted. I really. I appreciate y'all for being here and everything but um i have not been consistent like at all but baby this um job is making me realize that if i want this to pop up i have to be consistent and it does not um matter like what youtuber or influencer that i watch and like whenever they talk about you know growing on here or um getting brands to invest in you or to to look at you and take you seriously and all that stuff it's like they always say the same thing consistency and that is a consistent thing for what people are saying and it's like you hear and you're like okay yeah just keep posting keep posting whatever but post and like actually have something to talk about post and actually like you know edit your content and be purposeful in what you want to convey to your audience and stuff and that's hard for me because like I go on my rants and stuff and I'd be like, dang, I want to talk about this. But then I end up talking about that. And I think I talked about that last video, but da -da -da -da, whatever. So I have to really get serious with planning out content and stuff. And like, you know, viewing this as a business versus a pastime, which is what it started out as a pastime and like a potential business. I did want this to you know, make money for me, obviously, but I also was like, wow, like, I have all this time in my hands, and, you know, while Race is playing a video game, I'm gonna record some content, like, I'm gonna just, you know, whatever, and I'm shopping anyway, so let me go ahead and do a haul, so, that was that, but, um, now I'm just like, I really have to be on my business, because when, I'm not gonna say if, when this happens for me, and I'm like, you know, um, quitting my job and this is like supporting me and um replacing my uh, nine to five i have to answer to myself and there's nobody that's gonna be like hey um you coming in today or you know whatever i have to make sure that i'm doing this for myself because this is a self um what do you call it self-employed industry basically like so i want to make sure that i am starting to take myself seriously because how somebody else gonna take me seriously you know what i'm saying so i don't know i feel like i'm doing a lot of rambling but also i just want y'all to feel me you know i want y'all to understand and i want y'all to like know me but i really don't um i don't know i feel like i just did a q a so um if that is something that y'all want like in the actual like sit down video let me know um or if y'all want me just to like to go live or something like that on instagram then i can do that too and y'all can just like ask me questions on live if you are new here i am so thankful and so happy to have you every day i go to work y'all and i know like if you follow me on instagram like i know y'all be so tired of me i be posting i'll be like well, I thought about not coming in today or I was so tired of this job or my favorite part of this job is walking out of here and da, da 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 Like, I know it's annoying to like keep hearing people talking about the same thing, but like, I know a lot of people hate their jobs. I know a lot of people don't like, you know, clocking in and having to answer to people and following other people's rules and stuff like that. I don't think I'm no different. I just feel like once you once the pandemic happened and i wasn't working for like you know uh like a full 40 hours a week or whatever it was hard to like get back into the routine of like listening to somebody or clocking in and you know waking up early and all that stuff like on a consistent basis and it's not me saying that because i'm like lazy it's me saying that because i got into the routine of like I'm moving to the beat of my own drum. Like, I'm doing what I want to do, essentially. And now, 
I just look back and I'm like, wow, what did I do with my youth? Like, what did I do? I mean, I'm still relatively young. Like, that's not get crazy. But, you know, I'm 30 now and I'm like, what did I do in my 20s? Like, I literally had not one care in the world, but I wish I was as driven as I feel that I am now because, you know, if I would have, like, started half of the things that I am interested in now, you know, being a business owner or YouTube or if I would have known what my passion was back then, like, you know, I knew I wanted to create. So that's where, you know, um, graphic design came in at. And that's what me wanting to go to hair school came in at. But I'm like, okay, I like doing hair. But, you know, I really don't want to deal with people and their, like, specifics of how they want stuff done. So I'm like, okay, I do want to do, like, some form of creating or just doing something that will allow me to be expressive but i just didn't know what it was i didn't know what a dog on content creator was in 2014 when i first started youtube i was just like i like this like this is cool you know making videos and doing my makeup doing my hair whatever and at that point lord the videos i was making like i was doing these little weaves and stuff and like, ugh. like i don't have the videos but i do have like some pictures like on my google drive i think it is I just suggest if you have something that you are um, interested in doing or whatever and you feel like you just need like a little push, this is your sign to go ahead and start. I'm going to come back when I'm done. Filming a video? Uh-huh. Oh, you want me to come crash it? No, thanks. Ooh, hey, y'all. Why he, he don't need to go, but look how he ah. is because you're here. Just no. <laughs> What's it giving, y'all? What's it giving so far? Or am I blind? Hmm. Now I'm gonna talk too much trash before I see the playback. You feel what I'm saying? I really wanted to get this video done before Race got home because you know what? Okay, for those of you who don't know, Race is my husband. Yes, his name is Race, R A C E. That's his born, his given name. That's what his parents named him my baby hey mom um yeah so anyways um when he get home it'd be so hard for me to record because i feel like i don't i don't know i get shy in front of him when i record like i'm not shy in front of him that naturally like the but when i'm recording i'm like you know I, it's just different anyways i just feel odd so, anyways, um, this is pretty much the look. I'm gonna put my lashes on and put my lipstick on, and this is pretty much it. Too. I feel like I really didn't get everything I wanted to say out. Now I got a brain fart because he's home, and. I mean, he's playing a video game right now, but I just be feeling like he's listening, <laughs> you know? Not like I don't want him to hear what I'm singing because, duh, it's YouTube. But, I don't know. I'm just be getting shy. I don't know I'm getting shy, but I do. I be feeling like, don't listen to me talk, you know? I'm gonna put these lashes on. I just had them earlier. So, yeah. I turned 30, y'all, and like literally, this has been like a crazy couple of weeks. Like, I turned 30 uh, a week ago now. Almost two weeks ago now. And, you know, people ask you, like, you know, when your birthday comes, they're like, oh, do you feel any older? You know, that's the typical thing to say. First of all, these lashes look like two different lashes, y'all. Ooh, cause, what? Are these two different lashes? Wait a minute. Maybe I got this mixed up. Did it look? It is what it is. Anyways, you know how people ask you like, 
you know, do you feel older or like, you know, do you feel the difference, whatever? And I can honestly say, I don't feel different. Like I feel the same. But then I'm like, ooh, like my hip is popping, you know? Like, ooh, my kneecap popping. I'm like, oh wow, like, you know, I guess this is age settling in. And that also prompted me, these are two different lashes. I don't care what nobody said. Anyways, that prompted me to want to, you know, take my health a little bit more seriously and, you know, just try to get, not necessarily smaller, but just try to get fit. You know what I'm saying? Because they say it's only going to get worse. So if it's going to get worse than this, and this don't feel good, in 30 more years from now, it's going to feel bad. Let me get ahead of it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at with it. I'm just trying to get ahead of it. I say all that to say what? Um, no, I don't feel older. I mean, not really. You know, I feel like, I feel normal, you know? I feel normal. Um, but I am gonna make it a conscious effort to really just start moving a little bit more, um, whatever. But this is the look. Hopefully it's looking like something because, you know, I can't really see. I know I got the little, you know, the side little, camera frame uh screen or whatever for me to see my let me, let me come up oh we don't look too bad baby okay 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 girl i find this video is very annoying i'm sorry i'm gonna post it anyways because i mean who's re-recording this not me all right girl thank you so much for watching this video um we are done next go around i am going to do a more in-depth video on this get ready with me maybe not this look but just like take you through the products that i use or whatever this video is really intended on me just trying to chat with y'all and to you know um my battery is about to die i don't know what's going on but real quick this video was just intended on me just trying to chat with y'all catch y'all up on what's been going on with me and yeah we back on track girl we about to be consistent and two videos a week is what we are shooting for moving forward so thank you for being here go ahead and like comment and subscribe if you haven't been here if you are new here please consider joining the family i love you for being here